Ashley Lamb Sinclair was named Kentucky's 2016 Teacher of the Year. She recently also became an entrepreneur and CEO of CurioLearning.com, a desktop app for teachers to discover, curate, and collaborate. We'll talk about what that Teacher of the Year recognition has brought her and perhaps the new perspective the Oldham County English teacher wants to share with her students and fellow educators coming up this weekend on Connections. It's great talking with you. We had a great conversation, I thought. Yeah. And uh, the passion that you have for education is so clear and evident. The Teacher of the Year recognition, not everybody gets that. And I know that that's really opened up your world and your mind about what you and other teachers can do to improve public education in Kentucky. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How, how do you feel about it now, being back in the classroom? What are the ideas that you're bringing back? Um, definitely, the, the main thing that I'm bringing back to my classroom is this idea that, you know, teachers are the experts in education. Teachers are the ones on the ground working with students, um, had the real influence when it comes to, you know, the real power of education. And so I've just seen that more clearly than I ever did before, um, and that's the message I'm bringing back. We talk in the interview uh, about how teachers may not recognize the depth of their power and influence, and you really set the record straight on that. that the most influential uh, group when it comes to educational policy really is teachers. Absolutely, because we are the ones who implement it. You know, we are the ones who makes, make those daily decisions about how will this policy look in practice. Um, and so therefore, we are the ones who have the influence on how it actually works. Yeah, and your belief in, and we hear it all the time from uh, Education Commissioner in Kentucky, Stephen Pruitt, who has even changed his vernacular, instead of all kids can learn, it's each kid, to mm -hmm. put that individual emphasis on each child. When you say all, it's a scapegoat. You know, right. all is just, uh, just a free pass. But when you say each child, you look at the individual. When you hear a commissioner or other policy makers say, we're gonna focus on each child, reaching his or her full potential. What does that signal to you and what would it look like in your opinion? That signals personalized learning to me and um, what it looks like. I've actually, I, I traveled to Finland uh, this past June and got to see um, quite a bit about their education system there and they recently just got rid of all subject areas altogether. Um, and so everything is personalized learning for students and I, th I think that's where we're going, not necessarily completely getting rid of subjects here in the U.S., but mm -hmm. definitely more personalized learning in my classroom that looks like every Friday we have a genius hour and so that means every kid is doing something that they love and then we're applying that to the content area um, and so that's I think we just need more of that that kids need to feel engaged and empowered during the school day yeah and not to and to think out of the box it's just because you've been doing Absolutely. it that way for 20 or 30 years doesn't mean you've been doing it the right way for 20 or 30 exactly years. maybe time to try something new well we have a great conversation a full half hour with Ashley Lamb Sinclair you do not want to miss this passionate Kentucky Teacher of the Year 2016 coming up this weekend on Connections Friday at 5 p.m. Eastern Time on KET2 and Sunday at 1 30 Eastern Time on on KET, the main channel, and you can watch online anytime after that, KET.org slash connections. Hope to see you.